Although territorial struggles in Europe delivered the coup de grace against the Third Reich, those battles could not have been fought, let alone won, without the Allied victory in the Atlantic. If the German U-boats had prevailed, the maritime artery between the United States and the United Kingdom would have been severed. Lacking oil for transport or heating, and without the raw materials required to manufacture weapons of war, it would have been impossible to prosecute the war against Germany. Blood, toil, tears and sweat would have been to no avail. Even more fundamentally, in the absence of basic foodstuffs, most of which were imported from Africa, Asia, South America and the United States, the British people would have faced the prospect, in the words of the military historian John Keegan, of a truly Malthusian decline. Mass hunger would have consumed the nation. Not only would it have been physically and spiritually impossible to fight on the beaches, on the landing grounds, in the fields and in the streets, but Churchill, or more probably his successor, would have had little choice but to sue for peace with Hitler. It is for these reasons that Churchill wrote, the battle of the Atlantic was the dominating factor all through the war. Never for one moment could we forget that everything happening elsewhere on land, at sea, or in the air, depended ultimately on its outcome. And amid all other cares, we viewed its changing fortunes day by day with hope or apprehension. Even if the U-boats had failed to starve out Britain, mere survival would not have been enough to stave off disaster. Had the German Wolfsrudel, wolf packs, remained free to prowl the ocean at will, they would have prevented the Allied armies from crossing the Atlantic in sufficient numbers to join the British in the invasion of Europe. There would have been no D-Day. It is very possible that as a result, Stalin would have elected to make a cynical accommodation with Hitler of the kind that produced the Ribbentrop-Molotov Pact in August 1939. In this case, the outcome of the Second World War in Europe would have been from the perspective of those who believe in freedom and democracy, catastrophically different. <laughs>